Richard Barrington Nevitt was an artist who recorded life on Canada's western frontier in the 1870s. Nevitt grew up privileged in Savannah, Georgia, with romantic notions of defending the honor of the Confederacy. The Civil War was in its final convulsions. Southern boys were replacing shattered men on the front line. When he was drafted, Nevitt's parents sent him to Canada. He adapted quickly, becoming head boy of his school. During the Confederation celebrations of 1867, he decided to become a Canadian and study medicine in Toronto. He specialized in obstetrics, an act of hope in a warring world. Out west, the whiskey traders, veterans of the bloody Civil War Nevitt had fled, murdered 50 Indians. Outraged Canadians called it the Cypress Hills Massacre. Nevitt enrolled in Trinity College and the Queen's Own Rifles. He would defend his new country from those damn Yankees. Nevitt the Southerner had arrived in the Canadian West. When the force rode up to Fort Whoopup, the headquarters of the whiskey trade, the desperados had already fled for the border. In 1874, Prime Minister Macdonald founded the Northwest Mounted Police to restore order. Canada's frontier would be settled peacefully. For Nevitt, it was a dream come true. What better place to prove himself to Elizabeth Beattie? He signed up as an assistant surgeon for $1,000 a year. He was an American draft dodger from the deep south, a man searching for a country. It was on the great lone land that he found himself finally a Canadian, a doctor and an artist working among the Indians. Canada, and fulfill my duties. 